1967, when I got to uh, China Beach, and I found that they had a few surfboards there, and I was very excited. It, it was one of the things that kind of reminded me of being home and made me feel a little bit, you know, not so lost in a foreign country. So what I did is uh, after I had got familiar with a lot of the guys down there, I told them, the lifeguards, what I would do, I would be willing to come down, take the responsibility of, of the, the surfboards, and then they could concern themselves more with the lifeguarding. It all worked out really well. Uh, eventually, uh, after giving tests to very, various people that came down there that wanted surfboards, I think by the time that I left in 69, there was approximately 175 cards that we had issued over a time period. Over the course of time, we were able to actually uh, get more boards after about a year and a half when I was there. But I was very fortunate enough that I found a nurse that was down at the uh, hospital there in Da Nang. She was leaving country. She just happened to be down at the beach one day, said she had a surfboard for sale. And of course, my eyes lit up real big. And what I did, I made my way down to the hospital, which was really strange because here I was, young kid, going to get a surfboard in Vietnam. My whole life was going to change and be my own personal board. I didn't have to borrow a board anymore. And as I'm walking to the tarmac, helicopters were flying in and bringing soldiers straight off the field, uh, in baskets off the side of the, uh, the helicopters. And I remember the uh, attendants running out from tents with the sutures attached to all their shirts clips and everything to seal off all the wounds and everything. And I thought, how ironic it is, here I am thousands of miles away from my home, a surfer, and I'm on my way to walk through the triage and where they're operating to go to a back room to buy a surfboard from a nurse that's leaving Vietnam. for China Beach and went for people like Larry that got the boards there and, and realized how important it was to a very small amount of people compared to the, all the guys that were over there. China Beach was, uh, it was a gift from heaven, you know, I mean, the whole surfing thing was a blessing.